When looking to study at our university, you're looking to explore endless possibilities. You're looking for an experience like no other. You're seeking to discover your undiscovered potential, satisfy your interests, and change the world around you. Hit play on an institution crafted for you and discover endless possibilities at Nelson Mandela University. To our prospective students, teachers, parents, and our broader communities, I'm very privileged to be able to welcome you to this very special virtual Open Day event. 2020 was a very tough year. And as the pandemic is still with us, 2021 is also tough. There's no doubt that the coronavirus pandemic, seeing though it has stretched globally, has forever altered and reshaped our lives and our futures in terms of the way we work, study and live. But we continue to hope and pray and strive for a better tomorrow. Nelson Mandela University committed itself during these pandemic times to ensure that our learning, teaching, research and activities where we engage and connect with communities continue in whatever way possible and using all the platforms at our disposal. Proper nutrition is a basic human right. Yet for vast areas of the Eastern Cape, knowledge and guidance on correct diet is dangerously scarce. The burden of food insecurity, malnutrition and resulting disease denies thousands of individuals the opportunity to reach their full potential. By applying the art and science of human nutrition, dietitians play a vital role in helping people understand the relationship between food and health, guiding them to a better quality of life. Dietitians serve in a wide variety of nutrition fields in both the private and public sectors. Therapeutic dietitians work within a multidisciplinary team in hospitals and other healthcare settings to provide nutrition therapy to patients with acute and chronic health conditions, where malnutrition is often high among hospitalized patients. Clinical dietitians play a crucial role by providing specialized nutrition support to improve patients' nutritional status and reduce the risk of complications and longer hospital stays. In the public health sector, Community dietitians work mainly with government and NGOs to actively protect and improve the health of the community through nutrition promotion and education. Screening of individuals and groups helps identify those in need of early nutrition intervention to ultimately prevent or minimize the severity of diseases.
In the field of food service management, dietitians manage the planning and delivery of healthy, balanced meals and specialized diets. To people in hospitals, welfare institutions and other places where large-scale food preparation takes place, including school nutrition and other food provision programs. Dietitians may also specialize in other areas such as private practice, consultation, sport nutrition and research avenues. Dietetics is one of the world's fastest growing professions with a key role to play in the future of modern medicine and correcting the many misconceptions around foodstuffs in the marketplace today. For every dietitian, the fruits of our labor are not always immediate, but they can impact a lifetime, ensuring our children, families and communities can truly live life to the full. Greetings ladies and gentlemen. Standing before you is Yolanda Malentle Mwango, a fourth year environmental health student at the Nelson Mandela University. Did you know that you can study environmental health at the Nelson Mandela University? Hmm. Most probably asking yourself, what is environmental health? The environment around you influences your health, the health of your friends, colleagues, and family in countless ways, such as climate change, exposure to polluted air and water, consuming contaminated food which can make you sick, and being exposed to an unsafe work environment which can increase your risk of getting hurt on the job. In this degree, you will learn how to understand and manage environmental issues such as food safety, air pollution, water pollution, infectious disease outbreaks, safety and well-being in the workplace, hazardous waste, waste disposal, environmental protection, public health, and so much more. Now, why did I decide to do environmental health? I decided to do environmental health because it touches on every aspect of daily life. It involves developing valuable skills in risk assessment and management. Environmental health practitioners explore the interactions between people and their world to better address the environmental impacts on our health. In this COVID-19 pandemic that we're facing globally, environmental health practitioners have an important role since the initial response to the outbreak, which led to the rapid implementation of access control at the borders, implementing isolation and quarantining rules, and conducting public education with regards to the preventative measures that everyone has to adhere to, such as the social distancing, wearing of masks, hand sanitizing, and hand washing. The end goal of environmental health is to improve the lives of all people at home, at work, and across the globe for generations to come. Now, what do you need to study environmental health? You need a national senior certificate with minimum applicant score of 390, at least 50% of mathematics, 50% of physical sciences, and 50% of life sciences. The Bachelor of Environmental Health is offered on a full-time basis over a four-year period. Learners graduating from this qualification will be able to function independently as environmental health practitioners. Graduates will be able to implement the principles of risk identification, assessment, and management to improve the health of the community. In addition, they will be able to apply research skills, apply legislation, regulations, and policies related to environmental health, and advise and educate role players on specific issues within their scope of practice. The career opportunities that are available when you've done environmental health is being an environmental practitioner, and one can be employed at both public and private sectors, which include local authorities, private industries and sectors, port health services, Port Health Services at the National Department of Health, Department of Water and Sanitation, Department of Agriculture, Met Inspection Agencies, Department of Environmental Forestry and Fisheries, and creating knowledge through research at various research institutions. 
Masters of Science in Environmental Health, as well as a PhD in Environmental Health, are postgraduate qualifications which are offered. The postgrad qualification will further equip the student to pursue a career in a variety of specialized fields. Our department also offers practical training, which is compulsory for every student and is known as work integrated learning. A minimum of 100 days of work integrated learning is spread over the four year period. This includes various activities such as a visit at, at an abattoir and the local authority. All South African healthcare students must complete a year of community service during the year following their final year of study. The placement process is organized by the National Department of Health. Now, if you want to play an important role of taking care of human health and the environment, join me in studying environmental health at the Nelson Mandela University. Thank you. With a single step, we glimpse the wonder of the human body. A living symphony of man in motion. The vision of the Department of Human Movement Science is to be a center of excellence that offers opportunities for a diverse range of innovative educational experiences to advance quality of life through human movement. We are a department that is creating, facilitating and applying contemporary knowledge. We do this to develop accountable, competent and critical thinking individuals who will make a meaningful and positive contribution for the betterment of society. Our academic and student community is forging the path ahead through research and learning in the fields of human movement science, biokinetics and sport management. We offer undergraduate programs, namely the Diploma in Sport Management, Bachelor of Human Movement Science and Bachelor of Health Science in Biokinetics. Our Diploma in Sport Management prepares students for the many career paths in the sport and physical activity industry related to management, administration and marketing. Sport management is concerned with the application of business management principles within a sport and physical activity setting, as well as other unique elements of sport such as event management, sport communication and sponsorship. The Bachelor of Human Movement Science is an interdisciplinary program that equips students for a career in the exercise and fitness industry. Sports coaching, sport management and recreation administration it allows students to access a postgraduate qualification in human movement science as well as the postgraduate certificate in education. The Bachelor of Health Science in Biokinetics is a four-year professional degree registered with the Health Professions Council of South Africa. Biokinetics addresses health promotion in the prevention and management of orthopedic and chronic conditions and injuries by means of scientifically based physical activity program prescription. Core modules in our programs include foundations of human movement, anatomy and physiology, sport psychology and sociology, sport management, biomechanics, motor development and motor learning. Our postgraduate degrees include honors in coaching science and sports science, as well as master's and PhD degrees through research. Professionally qualified biokineticists, sport practitioners and managers are needed to ensure the future prosperity and growth of physical activity and sport programs in society. Join our team and change the world. For detailed information, visit our website at hms.mandela.ac.za. Hi there, my name is Carmen Thurner and I recently finished my honours degree in psychology and I currently work for the NMU psychology department. A quick disclaimer before we get started, you will unfortunately not learn how to read minds in this course but rather be equipped with the psychological knowledge and people skills for use in people-orientated careers. 
At NMU, we provide professional training in psychology that can lead to registration as a clinical or counselling psychologist, as well as a psychometrist with the HBCSA. Your career options are becoming a psychologist, going into academia, becoming a psychometrist, or going into coaching and mentoring. The discipline of psychology has found application in various settings and is a valuable and extremely important life tool. The program provides the following outcomes, which are often required by employers. An understanding and knowledge of human behavior, the ability to communicate effectively in diverse situations and contexts, the ability to develop and maintain constructive working relationships with individuals, groups, teams, as well as communities. The ability to observe, describe, and assess human behavior by using the relevant measures, procedures, and theories. Students would complete their three-year BA Psychology undergraduate degree. After completing the BA Psych degree, students could then apply to do their BA Honours degree, which is in their fourth year of studies. Once the BA Honours degree is complete, students can then apply for selection into one of our master's programs in either clinical, counselling or research psychology. Students can also apply for the psychometry program, which involves the use of administrating psychological tests. To apply for your undergrad in BA Psych, minimum NSC statutory requirements for the degree must be met. An applicant with an NSC grade 12 mathematics or technical mathematics requires a minimum applicant score of 350. An applicant with an NSC grade 12 mathematical literacy requires a minimum applicant score of 365 points. NSC achievement rating of at least 45% for mathematics or technical mathematics or 65% for mathematical literacy. It should however be noted that pursuing an undergrad degree in BA Psychology does not lead to professional registration and takes three years to complete. In the pursuit of postgraduate studies, students should be made aware that acceptance is not guaranteed as there are set reviewing processes in place and very limited seats available. While studying psychology may not always be as cool and exciting as it looks on TV shows like Mindhunter or Criminal Minds, it does equip you with the skills needed to better understand and communicate with yourself and those around you. And it also has the potential for you to go into a career path where you have the opportunity to genuinely change lives for the better. If you have any questions for us, please feel free to drop us an email or give us a call. All of the our information can be found on the website psychology.mandela.ac.za. Thank you for your time. We look forward to receiving your application and growing with you on your academic journey. Dear prospective students, welcome. My name is Professor Viana Goliath and I'm the head of department in a department called Social Development Professions. The program that you're probably interested in that is in this program is called the Social Work Program and our degree is a Bachelor in Social Work, which is a four-year qualification. So what is social work all about, right? So social work is specifically interested in the injustices that is happening around us, conditions of living that impact on human beings and really block people from reaching their full potential. Social workers aspire to enhance the social functioning of their fellow human beings and we also look at the injustices around us. We're not just focusing in on the person, but specifically structural conditions, you know, in communities, in environments, historical injustices that must be addressed and eradicated. So that's a mouthful to say that you would be working at grassroots level, in groups, in communities, in all contexts as a social worker. So your course, um, prospective students, is a, like I said, a four-year program. And from your second year onwards, you work with real life people in real communities, uh, mostly at schools at this point in time. In your third year, you also spend at least one day in a week in a practice setting in various organizations, this could be. And in your fourth year, you spend two out of five days for a full year in a practice context. So when I say practice context, it can be anything from a hospital to a correctional supervision facility to a non-government organization to schools 
in government settings and so forth and so forth. So you can hear how diverse and how wide social work is. The job opportunities for social work is literally um, widespread and you have to make a living and a job for yourself. We, we teach entrepreneurial skills, enterprising opportunities, and we help you to think creatively about how you can use what you have in a variety of settings. So the encouragement is not to study in order to enter a job or a career. The encouragement is to study for the purposes of living and continuous learning. Our program thrives on the fact that you bring knowledge with you and that you're not empty slates. And we look forward to working with your own lived experiences, right? You come from communities and we want to learn with you about your communities and what you have to offer to help us form a curriculum that is Africanized and that speaks to a context that's relevant for our times and for our people. What do you need in order to qualify? If you're doing maths, um, you need an admission score of 350. And if you are doing maths literacy, you need an admission score of 365. And I'm sure by now you've worked out how to work out your admission score. There's no specific subject requirements. We just need you to have a level three in your languages and specifically the primary language that you bring your first language. So we really look forward to welcoming you and touch wood to see you in person, which is our, our first years are actually studying at the moment. I wish you all the very best in your applications and make sure that you fill them in thoroughly and that you add all the necessary documents to have a complete application. All the best. Dear all prospective students, I am Busisua Magadra, a fourth year emergency medical care student in the emergency medical care department within the Faculty of Health Sciences. Our department offers a four year degree that includes advanced patient care and rescue principles with modules such as anatomy and physiology, pharmacology, diagnostics, fire rescue and aquatic rescue, to name but a few. Our admissions criteria includes that a student needs a minimum of 50% for mathematics, 65% for mathematical literacy, 50% for physical science, and 60% for life sciences. Admission is subject to department selection that includes an interview as well as satisfactory physical assessment, which includes assessment of your basic swimming capacity, fitness level, fear of heights, and claustrophobia. We are currently located at Ocean Science Campus and Mission Vale Campus at the EMC Department Building. Our clinical labs are located on both campuses as well. So, what is an emergency care practitioner? An emergency care practitioner provides emergency medical care by assessing patients, diagnosing problems, and providing treatment in any environment. The EMC program aims to meet the needs of South African communities by producing well-balanced practitioners with thorough understanding of rescue and patient care in the most diverse and adverse conditions. Once students graduate, they will become highly skilled, knowledgeable and independent practitioners registered with the Health Professions Council of South Africa. Job opportunities will include being an emergency care practitioner in local organizations such as Metro Emergency Medical Services, NetK911, and ER24, to name but a few. Or even being a flight medic in international countries, or choosing a more administrative role in management or education. Looking forward to receiving your applications and meeting you in person when you start your qualification. Dear all prospective students, 
I am Tando Bada, a medical scientist in the Medical Laboratory Science Department within the Faculty of Health Science. Our department offers a four-year degree that includes medical microbiology, clinical chemistry, histology, cytology, and hematology. Our admissions criteria include that a student needs a minimum of 60% for mathematics, 50% for life science, and 50% for physical sciences. We also offer a master's and a PhD qualification, which can also take you into international waters. The intake is plus minus 50 students with 10 staff members. We are located at North Campus at A Block, where all our labs are also located. So what is a medical scientist? A medical scientist is a highly trained health professional that works in a pathology laboratory to process and analyze samples, such as DNA, urine, sputum, blood, tissues, and many other samples. Job opportunities will include being a medical scientist in a pathology laboratory, such as NHLS, Empath, Pathcare, and Sandus, or being a microbiology quality control scientist, which includes the pharmaceutical industry, or working as a medical rep, or even a forensic analyst. Looking forward to receiving your applications and meeting you in person when you start your qualification. A very warm welcome to each and every one of you from the nursing department at Nelson Mandela University. We are happy to have you here with us. What is nursing? Nursing is the glue that holds a patient's healthcare journey together. Nurses are the backbone of the healthcare delivery. Nursing can be an exciting and rewarding career for those interested in the medical profession. What do I need to get into nursing? We offer a Bachelor of Nursing qualification and a Bachelor of Nursing extended program. Our Bachelor of Nursing admission requirements are as follow. Minimum National Senior Certificate requirements for degree entry must be met. An application of your grade 12 requires a minimum application score of 370 with mathematics and for mathematical literacy a minimum application score of 385 is required. An achievement rating of at least 50% for mathematics or 65% for mathematical literacy. And you will need an achievement rating of at least 50% for physical sciences and 60% for life sciences. What is the extended program about? To give you a brief understanding, the purpose of the extended program is to integrate additional academic support and skills development with mainstream courses in order to prepare the student for a successful completion of the Bachelor of Nursing degree qualification. The Bachelor of Nursing extended program admission requirements are as follow. Minimum National Senior Certificate Requirements for degree entry must be met. An application of your grade 12 requires a minimum application score of 330 worth mathematics. And for mathematical literacy, a minimum application score of 345 is required. An achievement rating of at least 35% for mathematics or 55% for mathematical literacy and you will need an achievement rating of at least 50% for physical sciences and 40% for life sciences. After obtaining your degree, you will be able to practice in many fields in the healthcare environment. Just to name a few, general nursing, which involves caring for people in hospitals, clinics and other private sectors. Community nursing, which involves primary health care and the prevention of diseases in the community. Psychiatric nursing, which involves treating the mental health of individuals. 
and midwifery nursing, which involves caring for mothers and babies. Clinical practices for nursing are obtained at various public and private hospitals and other health care services during your course of study to gain the practical experience you will need. Students will be guided towards developing a sense of equity and justice. A service ethic that will ensure you work in an accountable and responsible manner. Graduates will possess a range of transferable skills, knowledge and attitudes that will enable them to make a meaningful and sustained contribution to the healthcare services in our communities. Being a nurse means you change lives. Are you ready to make that change? We look forward to seeing you and welcoming you into our wonderful department. Good day to you all. I am Dr. Noma China Kubashi, the head of department in pharmacy. Our department is situated in one of the seven campuses of the university, the South Campus. One we refer to as our campus by the sea. Pharmacy is the health profession which integrates all fields in the health sector as essentially we are at the end of the health chain after a patient has consulted with practically everyone they need to consult with from a doctor to a nurse psychologist radiologist physiotherapist you name them our admission requirements are as follows you as the applicant or candidate needs to meet the national senior certificate statutory requirements for degree entry in addition, we require that you obtain a minimum applicant score of 410. You must also at least obtain 50% for home language or English first additional language. You need to have at least 60% for mathematics and at least 60% for physical sciences. The closing date for our applications is the 31st May each year preceding the year of attendance. Pharmacy is a professional degree where all pharmacy graduates starting from student phase are required to register with the South African Pharmacy Council. It is also advised that students affiliate with Pharmaceutical Society of South Africa, which is a professional body with its intent to protect the pharmacist in case an unimaginable happen. The indemnity fee is 1584 and the annual fee for students is 239 The BPharm course is a four-year degree comprising of five foundational modules, four in the first year and one in the second year, and the rest of the modules are pharmacy modules. These include pharmaceutical chemistry, pharmaceutics, pharmacology, pharmacy people and systems or pharmacy practice, and clinical pharmacy. From second year, our students spend time in public clinics. During the third year, students are placed in community pharmacies and in their final year of study, they are placed in hospital and few are placed in industry. This we refer to as clinical placement. We achieve the development of the necessary skills our students need for clinical practice with the aid of our world-class laboratories. The aseptic lab, where students are trained and prepared to possess the skill they may later need to mix chemotherapy and manufacture large and small volume parenterals, things that we refer to as drips. And then we have the pharmaceutics labs, where students are trained and prepared to possess the skill they may later need to develop and or manufacture medicines, product development, which is a differential skill that is unique to the pharmacist. Then we have the aseptic lab, which forms part of the pharmaceutics lab. The training dispensary, where students are trained and prepared to possess the skill they may later need to interact with patients, service providers, such as medical aids 
and other healthcare professionals in primary health care, such as the community pharmacists and public clinics. This is one skill I think we are more familiar with or that we often see. The clinical skills laboratory, where similarly in this laboratory, students are trained and prepared to possess the skill they may later need to interact with patients and other healthcare professionals. The skill here is communicated at a scientific level where the pharmacist communicates with other healthcare professionals and at the lay language level where pharmacists communicate with patients. This is the skill that is commonly witnessed in hospitals more than in community pharmacists. Pharmacists here do not deal with medical aids directly. The chemistry lab is another lab. There, students are trained and prepared to possess the skill they may later need to interrogate the prescribing patterns of other healthcare professionals and practice individualizing patient care through understanding the structure of each medicine and the implication any changes to the structure can have on the efficacy or the effectiveness of medicine and how a patient may react to it. And we have the pharmacology lab. Here, although the approach is different, however, similarly to the pharmaceutical chemistry lab, students are trained and prepared to possess the skill they may later need to interrogate the prescribing of other healthcare professionals and practice individualizing patient care through understanding how medicines work. That is what the medication does to the body and what the body does to the medication. Pharmacy prides itself with attracting students that are critical thinkers and care about the well-being of others. Patient advocacy is a significant part of pharmacy practice. After completing the four years, you will be required to do a one-year internship followed by a one-year community service prior to qualifying to practice as a pharmacist. Then after you have qualified, you can find employment in any of the following sectors of pharmacy, community pharmacy, manufacturing, wholesale pharmacy, hospital pharmacy, primary health care, and academia. We are aware of the fact that we are not any other healthcare professional, and yes, we might not be mentioned often on media. However, we firmly believe and pride ourselves with the knowledge that all of the healthcare professionals are incomplete without a pharmacist, especially in an event that medicines are prescribed to a patient. We look forward to welcoming you into our department and wish you all the best for your studies. I thank you. Welcome to the Department of Radiography at Nelson Mandela University. Radiographers are required to perform radiographic procedures and examinations of the human body to assist referring clinicians to make medical diagnoses. To do this, we use advanced technology and an array of interpersonal skills to perform these daily tasks. We interact with individuals from diverse backgrounds and from various multidisciplinary healthcare teams. We perform our duties within the radiology department, the accident and emergency department, in the ward, as well as in the operating theater. At the Nelson Mandela University, we currently offer a Bachelor of Radiography in Diagnostics. The program is a four-year professional degree program that is offered full-time only and is presented in a block release mode whereby students are offered theory blocks at the university and clinical blocks at particular accredited hospitals. These are called clinical placements and these clinical placements start from the first year of study. The department places students at the respective accredited training hospitals and we can only accept a limited number of students in accordance to these numbers of accredited clinical placements that are available. The admissions requirements for this degree program includes the following. You need to have 
degree entry. You need an applicant score or AS score of 390 minimum. Your mathematics, physical science and life sciences should all be at a rating of 50% minimum. You should also be physically fit and you need to submit a satisfactory medical report on the prescribed form to the admissions office. Admission is also subject to a departmental selection which takes place in the latter part of the year. After obtaining your qualification, you will need to perform one year of compulsory community service. After this year of community service, you can register with the HPCSA as an independent practitioner where you will be able to work in various hospitals, community health centers and private radiology practices across South Africa. The opportunity also exists for you to open your own private practice. You can also further your studies through the postgraduate studies route by completing an array of advanced and postgraduate diplomas, a master's degree or a doctoral degree. Opportunities to work abroad also exist. Should you require any further information about the Bachelor of Radiography and Diagnostics offered at Nelson Mandela University, please use the information on the screen. We look forward to welcoming you to our program at Nelson Mandela University. Hi, I'm Figile Nomvete. I am the director of the medical school in Nelson Mandela University. be going through to enter our main administrative building and this is where we will sit and uh, attend to most of your queries. But on our admin building we're quite unique in the sense that it is based on the science uh, building as well. So our health sciences building is just on to my left. We would ordinarily walk past it as we go to our admin building. On the science building, we have our biochemistry lab, physiology lab, as well as anatomy lab, with all our state-of-the-art gadgets that we like using. And this is the entrance of our administrative building. So, in this building, the administrative building, you'll find myself, the director of the school. You'll also find my assistant, as well as the uh, administration assistant. You'll also find our admissions officer who sits right next to me. We also do have our offices for the support staff, for the senior lecturing staff in the medical sciences. Now to get into this medical school, the 10th medical school in the country, you will need to have done mathematics, you'll need to have done biology or life sciences, as well as to have done uh, physics or physical sciences. We do require proficiency as well in English and this is because that we are an English medium uh, university as well as it, we like you to be able to converse through the country and through the world at large. But we focus on the academic performance and so I strongly encourage you to put on that academic muscle, put a lot of effort into your studies and improve your chances of entering. Thank you. Good day, my name is Dr. Elizabeth Dutoy and I'm the curriculum coordinator for the medical program. Now this is a six year degree and all students, irrespective of whether you may have previous studies, start in the first year of the program. Now why is that? Well, our courses or modules that you'll do each year are really integrated. So that is a link um, constructively together within the year and between the years. We are delivering a spiral curriculum. So we really build foundational concepts in the first years, in the first three years, in the basic medical sciences, as well as in concepts such as community-based primary care. Thereafter, in the years four, four to six, you'll be spending a lot more time in the clinics and hospitals. 
Our aim is to train a primary healthcare oriented graduate. I'm standing at the moment in the clinical skills lab here. You'll spend time in your first year and second year, a lot in the third year, as we prepare you to enter the clinical space and then revisit this from years four to six. This program will be fun. It'll be a lot of hard work, but it will be well worth it. Thank you. For admission into the MPSHB program, the following criteria must be met. Applicants who are school leavers must meet the minimum national senior certificate requirements for entry into a degree. These applicants are expected to achieve a minimum applicant score of 430 in order to be considered. In addition, applicants must achieve a minimum rating of 60% in each of the following subjects. English as a home or additional language, mathematics, physical sciences, and life sciences. Each applicant is required to write the National Benchmark Test, also known as the NBT. This test must be written no later than the 31st of July, 2021. The following criteria are applicable to applicants with previous studies Applicants who are currently in their first year of study of the first degree will initially be evaluated with the same criteria as school leavers, where their NSC and NBT scores will be taken into consideration. The NBT must be written no later than the 31st of July, 2021. Applicants who are in their second or later years of study, including those who have completed their degrees, will be evaluated according to their official academic records as well as their final NSC results. Please note that only official academic records will be accepted and considered. A minimum achievement of 65% must be achieved for consideration into the program, solely based on an applicant undertaking the full course load of the degree. Applicants who are registered for extended programs will only be considered after the completion of their second academic year, given that they have undertaken the full course load for their degree. For further information on the program, please visit our website at medicalschool.mandela.ac.za. Should you have further queries, you may email us at medicalschool.mandela.ac.za. Applications are only online and opened on the 3rd of May 2021 and will close on the 30th of June 2021. Please note that no late applications will be accepted. Applications for studying at Nelson Mandela University are fully online and we've simplified the process for you into four steps. Step 1. Discovery. See what options are available to you, look at the prospectus and quick guides, make your career choice, find out which courses can get you there and see if you meet the requirements. Step 2. Application. Decided what you want to study and meet the requirements? Right, now you can apply online for admissions, for accommodation and for funding. Step 3. Admission. Submitted your application? Now you can view your admission status, change your study choice, or confirm any admission offer you may have received so that we can reserve a place for you. Step 4. Registration. Been admitted to study at Nelson Mandela University? Take part in the orientation programs, go through the registration process to enroll in your chosen subjects and find out when lectures start.
Nelson Mandela University offers financial assistance to full-time students in the form of bursaries, merit awards, scholarships and study loans, namely Anisfus and Fundi. Our vision at Nelson Mandela University is to assist all financially needy and academically deserving students to impact the world. Education is the most powerful weapon to change the world and our central mission is to facilitate the learning process for all students by cultivating an environment that enriches and supports holistic learning for all deserving students, regardless of economic background. At Nelson Mandela University, we provide different types of residences for students who are at different stages of their studies. Residences are located on Summerstrand North and South Campuses, 2nd Avenue, as well as George Campus. In addition, three senior undergraduate residences and a postgraduate student village are available on the Summerstrand Campus. Off-campus accommodation is also available for students who prefer living off-campus. Options include renting flats, houses or boarding at private residences. Our student housing office can assist you in finding suitable and accredited accommodation for your studies. Nelson Mandela University's virtual recruitment team offers students the opportunity to ask and receive answers to specific university-related questions during online virtual meetings. Multiple topics can be discussed like academic program information, applicant score calculation, online application assistance, career and study field information, student life and events overviews. Schedule a meeting by simply clicking book now, then complete the online booking form and follow the steps to have your queries answered. It is all possible with Nelson Mandela University. Apply today and discover your wildest dreams with a university that is built for the individual. For more information, visit our website and apply early for the chance to change the world.